I know, I know, I know. It's been a minute since y'all saw me. It's been a minute. For like six months, I'm feeling like Corey Kenshin out here going to high agencies and all the time. But I'm back. I'm not saying I'll be back forever. I'm not saying I'll be consistent, but I'm back for now for this video. And I know I told you guys I was probably going to get some milk or whatnot. But you know how that happens and stuff. I didn't abandon, like I did not abandon y'all. I didn't. I just was in 7-Eleven getting some milk, a strange place to get some milk from. But open fridge, ended up in Narnia and had to go save a world. But now I'm back. I just came went through a long training arc, a whole saga, but I'm back. And like I said, I'm not going to say I'm going to be here posting every single day or post every single week, but maybe every two months, maybe I might drop like 10 video, videos on you in a single day, but it's going to be sporadic for it, like, you know, as always, but I'm here right now. But yeah, so I know you guys haven't heard this in a while, so it's going to be a bit nostalgic, but here we go. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another food review video. In this video, I'll be reviewing Donut Run, and it's not really the most appealing thing. Like last, I actually went yesterday, and I'm going, well, I went yesterday, and I went again today. And like last time I got a box, I got like four donuts, but I only got two um, donuts, so they only gave me a, a bag. But yeah, the box was more appealing. That right there is a little like five guys level of marketing right there. There's a trash bag. Well, not trash, but just a little paper bag, whatever case. At least in Greece, like with five guys, and there's just donuts. And another thing I would say, along this time I've been inactive, I have become vegan as far as most days. Some days I'm not vegan. Some, well, I'm vegan pretty much every day, but some days I do make some, I do take some steps back. Not because it's so delicious or whatnot, but I have become vegan is all I'm going to say. Most days of the week. Some days of the week, like I say, I might slip up, but most days of the week I'm vegan. And, you know, might some little sauce here and there that might have some milk, you know, whatnot in it. But, but most days of the week I'm vegan and I will say that. I am a dabbling vegan and I'm like very much on that path and have definitely seen a lot of results and I have been like I said, I've been on it, so give me my pat on the back. I'm, I'm a vegan in the process, a vegan in the making. But um, yeah, why I mentioned that is because I went to Donut Run. If I haven't already said it, I went to Donut Run right down here and um near Tacoma, near Tacoma Station, the metro station, the actual the actual metro station in the the jazz restaurant slash bar slash gambling site slash sports bar, Tacoma Station, and then um they got turning turning natural like across the street or a little down the street to the left from there. So it's like a good little area of black businesses and a lot of vegan restaurants, black owned vegan restaurants. And you got like um, E-Life a little bit over the way. So very good little area. And also went to um, Turning Natural that day as well. But that might be another review I might drop soon, but, or maybe not at all, but I'm looking to drop it. But yeah, went to um, Donut Run and I finally got, a, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a bonus. I'm gonna probably do like the four donuts I got yesterday. And then I'm for this one, like, you know, I'm putting it at the end of the video. But for now, I'm going to do the video. I mean, I'm going to do the donuts I got right now. So I got two of the most popular ones. Well, definitely one of the popular, most popular ones. The one that been winning all the wars, and that's the apple fritter. So I'm going to try that. And I'm going to review the, um, the cinnamon toast. The cinnamon do toast is sitting on top. But again, I will mention, this is all vegan donuts. One thing I will instantly give them a big knock for is that they fry their donuts in soy. And yes, that's probably vegan. I mean, yes, it is vegan and stuff. It is, definitely doesn't take away from being vegan. But soy is literally cancer. And why do you need to fry your donuts in soy? I mean, compared to every other donut, this is way, 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 way better. Because every donut, other donut got fried in soy, baked in soy, made with soy. So it's no soy necessarily in it, necessarily. But it's fried in soy oil or not. So I need to work on that. I know that keeps your prices low. Y'all don't want to be like no $10 donuts, but... If y'all know how bad soy is, y'all know y'all got a vegan restaurant, y'all been doing this and y'all been in area where it's vegan this, vegan that. I'm pretty sure that everybody hipped how bad soy is. And a lot of places, like, unless you just cook it at home, which has, has been going on a whole lot with me. Like, I mean, a lot of home-cooked vegan meals. So it has been a, devoid of soy, which is great. But these other vegan places, there's so many vegan places like that either been around or coming up, but they still, I guess, for the money side, like, just like any other place, like, they're still attached to the money side so much that they still got to cut corners and use soy. You know, save some money, keep the donuts lower so, you know, they can please their customers. But get rid of that soy stuff. You got to just do a little bit. Take the extra step because soy is literally cancer. Yeah, they, but yesterday the donuts were good, and I'm really excited to try these donuts. So I said all the stuff about cancer and whatnot, but, hey, I've been eating soy and literally everything. Like, let's, check, let's literally just check every single thing you got. Every little item you got, everything pretty much got soy in it. Until they became more conscious. Now it's like you got to really go for items that will have soy free on top or this and that. 
But like literally every single thing, like for some reason, I love to put soy in it. And that's why I have so much cancer in the world. But yeah, here's a donut. And just for the for a little while right here, I'm gonna be indulging in some soy product. <laughs> but yeah, we got um, this is cinnamon toast right here. So like five minutes of video, I'm actually going to eat this donut or eat these donuts. So the cinnamon toast. Mmm. That's good. Real good. So vegan donuts, great. That's better than every single donut I got from yesterday. Better than every single donut I got from yesterday. I feel like yesterday the donuts weren't, you know, the freshest, but I feel this one's fresh. You know, about as fresh as you could get coming in like an hour later, then they open or two hours later than they open and whatnot. But that donut's pretty fresh. The flavor is nice and, and everything good about that donut. Nice little top layer, some powder on top. Nice little second layer, then they got some little almost like caramel cream right underneath that. So it's like immaculate. Best donut I've tried from them so far. At least as far as my try. Actually, like I said, I feel like the ones I got yesterday weren't as fresh as this one is, but that's donut solid. I will give that donut a 9.5 out of 10. The cinnamon toast is a 9.5 out of 10. And I'm not even a fan of cinnamon toast crunch cereal, but if that didn't have anything to do with it, but I'm just dropping that in there. But 9.5 out of 10 for that donut. I love it. Don't love the fact they do like the fried stuff in soy, but hey, I'm going to buy that. Mm. Here's the most famous item. This one has won so many awards, they said. But um, let me try this the apple fritter. Looks good. I'm excited to try it. And yeah, and give it excited to give it a review. But here we go. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. But the fact that they're vegan, they're already winning. They already have won. But minus that soy part. Minus that fried fried soy, which is a big part. But outside of that price is pretty good. The donuts are got a big side. I mean, they're not huge Jumungo, Jumanji donuts, but they got a pretty good size. They're definitely not a little thin, dried up donuts. So they give you a pretty hefty donut. And the price will range from like $275 to like $3 or something like that. Or three fifty. So not very expensive donuts, very quality. Um, vegan donuts, fried and soy. We'll take a note off. I mean, take deduction for that. Well, black on vegan donuts tastes up there just with regular donuts, if not better. Matter of fact, better than regular donuts. Vegan, black on, just fried and soy. But as far as this um right here, I'm about to give this one like a a seven out of ten. I just feel like 
just too doughy, I guess. You know, like they're doing too much. They got too much structure going. This is like too lumpy. A little bit stiff. Still good. But that um cinnamon toast donut killing this further. I don't know why. This is the thing that won awards. I feel like the other donuts better. I feel like they probably do got some even better donuts at that place. But I'll try them more. It's like so close to me. I drive past it every day. So I'm about to be stopping through probably frequently enough. I'm not going to say I'll be a daily shopper. But maybe once or twice a month maybe. Maybe even more. But definitely sold on them. But this being their award winning item. I don't know who's having all these awards, but they need to fire whoever that is because they're not focused on what's the best from them. Unless maybe they got going to do one of these competitions. They're making these fresh, these, they trying to the fritters when they're very at their freshest and they haven't sat around a single second. Like they get them hot off the fryer and try them. And that, now I'm probably meaning they're at that given point, they're probably immaculate, but let them sit in a little bit and they just turn into a clunky dough. I'm just saying it's still good, but far from immaculate. So I said seven or something out of ten. I'm saying yeah, seven out of ten. Not bad. But I give him an additional point, maybe a point, maybe like eh, half a point, seven point five. The fact that they're vegan, so seven point five for the um, apple fritter. I'm not super impressed. Maybe I got to try it at its freshest, and then I'll be amazed. But solid donut. But between these two, and not all the donuts I tried from them so far, the cinnamon toast is by far for me what I've tried so far the best they have. 9.5 out of 10 for that donut. For the fritter, 7.5 out of 10. And I would rec recommend you try it. You live in the D.C. area, Maryland area, DMV area, and you ain't ever in the, like, the coma area, stop by Donut Run and try them out. Black-owned, delicious. And they definitely are doing the dang with what they're doing. And that's the video. Peace. So now you've made it to the end of the video, and here is the bonus content. So, um... This was actually not my first run at Donut Run. This was my second run at Donut Run. And here is my review for my first four or five donuts I had. Well, first four donuts I had when I went to Donut Run upon, you know, my first time trying it out. So um, I had four donuts. I had like a Boston cream donut. I had like a, um, I had a, like pretty much like all white donut, like a chocolate vanilla type donut, icing donut. So I had, that's two of them. I had a coffee donut and I had like a basic like, you know, um, glazed donut. So how I feel about these first donuts, honestly, I feel like I didn't get them at their freshest. I feel like, you know, I, I got them when they were kind of a little bit still. Like they weren't still in the case like, oh, they've been sitting on the shelf for weeks or, you know, sitting on the shelf for hours and hours. The place don't stay open that long. I think they open from like eight to like four or something. So they're not open crazy long. They open for a very short amount of time. So the donuts never, you know, exactly, you know, get stale like, you know, a Dunkin' Donuts will. Like, Dunkin' Donuts donuts be out literally all day long, all night, 24-7. They be out there just sitting there until somebody buy them or they get so old and then flies start to inhabit them that they had to throw them out. So, a little dig, a little dig at Donut, I'm going to say, a little dig at Dunkin' Donuts there. But either way, yeah, that donuts don't sit out very long. So, all I'm just saying that you get them around 8, you know, between 8 and like 12, you'll get that donuts probably at their best. Like, really, you get them eight, they're probably going to be so fresh. Like, they're going to be probably even more amazing. I have not yet, I have yet to get them that good. Like, I haven't been there at, like, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., but uh, I've been able to get there at, like, 12, 11, so I've got, you know, them roughly pretty fresh. Not their freshest, but pretty fresh. But, you know, around that two cart mark, they kind of dip off a little bit, at least some of the donuts. You know how glazed donuts are. You got to get them when they're fresh because they definitely start to dip off quicker than other donuts. By the way, the donuts are still very exceptional, especially for vegan donuts. Matter of fact, don't matter to say vegan donuts, period. These are some good donuts. Matter of fact, some of the best donuts I've ever tried, period. Regardless of vegan or non-vegan, these are some solid donuts. The fact that they are vegan just pushes them over top of every single donut out there, in my opinion. Like, if you give me some vegan donuts, and then on top of that, they kill 99% of the competition out there, then... You got a winning product right there. And they definitely got a winning product. So I feel about all the donuts. Like I said, I feel like the crispy cream, not the crispy cream. I feel like the um, glazed donut. Like I said, I feel like a little bit flaky. I wasn't really, really feeling that. And I was kind of eating a little bit weird, like like picking at it. But when I just took a good bite of it and started, you know, eating like a normal person, it was solid. The um, coffee donut, you know, had a heavy coffee taste and it had a heavy coffee smell. It made me feel like I was in um in a work room where like some corporate, like, you know, some corporate business working for some little the government or working for some private company, you know, I had that little break room to smell like straight up coffee and caffeine and all that. That's what it smelled like. 
you know, it was pretty good and like woke me up for real, for real. But I didn't, you know, I felt like half of that don't would be good enough for me. But I feel like it's, it comes a little bit too strong. Maybe I was a dude who like really was in love with coffee or maybe I was needed a boost like that. It'd be good. But you don't need a boost. It's definitely overkill. Like, so I feel like half or even a quarter of that don't is all I needed for, as far as the caffeine. It was over jack with caffeine. But it tastes good. The taste was fully there and it definitely gave me that coffee. Like, definitely gave what it was supposed to give and definitely was quality. And all these donuts were quality. The, the, the half and half was like disappointing. It was nothing spectacular. It was like very forgettable. And again, I feel like it wasn't as freshest. I feel like it kind of suffered like the crispy, like the, um, I keep saying crispy cream, kind of suffered like the um, glazed one did, but nonetheless, it was still good, but forgettable. I would not go back and get it again. I would say it's probably, it's probably about a seven average. And when you're going to get some, you know, some outstanding donuts, you don't want average. You want to get something, you want to get a quality experience. So definitely something that I would not go back and get again. The um, coffee donut would not go back and get again. The glazed donut, I would go back and get around like eight or nine. I would not get that at 12 or one. So I would give the glaze probably you know, a seven as well, but I feel like it could be eight, nine, or ten when it's fresh. You know, in fact, I'm gonna give all these donuts, uh, you know, extra one point because the fact that they're vegan. So, yes, there's six. I said like was a, a couple of them were six. I said um, the coffee by like a seven, the, hat, the off white one like a six. But so that, that make that off white a seven, make the um, the glaze, yeah, make the coffee like an eight or something, but. Still, nonetheless, I would not go back and get any of those again. I would get the glaze, but I would not get the coffee. I would not get the off-white. And then lastly, what else I had? So I think I asked all of them. Coffee, glaze, off-white, Boston cream. Boston cream is pretty solid, but I said that one's probably about like a 8.5. Then, hey, with the boost is a 9.5. I would probably get that one again, but I feel like I tried better ones. So the, you know, with the other ones I've tried, I would... No, I wouldn't really be in a rush to get it, get it again. And I feel like it's still like so many ones I have not tried. But yeah, that's my that's my own bonus review. Like solid donuts, but I definitely feel like I had a second a better second round than I did the first round. And that's the video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for more videos. Peace.